Governments do a lot of scary stuff, like build nukes, invade countries, that kind of stuff. But Charles Eccleston is a great example of what really scares me about the government. He used to work at the U.S. Department of Energy, and he was just caught trying to sell secret information about America's nuclear power plants to a foreign government. At the Department of Energy, Eccleston worked for the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, where he claimed he had top secret level security clearance. So he knew a lot of very sensitive things about how our nuclear power plants work. And he didn't like a lot of it. He didn't like the NRC's environmental review policy. He thought the way they handed out licenses was tainted and deceptive. He thought the whole of the NRC was basically dirty. He kept opening his mouth about it, so he got put on probation, and then eventually he was terminated. So he moved to the Philippines, where he decided to try to sell all that sensitive information to a foreign government. That government ratted him out to the FBI, who then conducted a sting operation. Eccleston tried to sell undercover agents email addresses for the people who work at the NRC. He came up with a scheme to implant spyware through NRC emails, and he even tried to sell information on classified programs for over $100,000. He was so into the scheming. The FBI busted him, and he now faces three charges of unauthorized access to a computer and one count of wire fraud, and he faces up to 50 years in prison. The FBI didn't name the foreign country that the guy was trying to sell the information to, but we're lucky that whoever they are, they didn't buy the info and then use it to blow up America's nuclear power plants. Because that could have been an outcome here. So sure, the government's going to be a jerk to other countries and its citizens, but it's also a jerk to its own employees. And the last thing anyone needs is the people with their fingers on the actually dangerous buttons to be really, really angry at the government. That happens more than we realize. And that's what's really scary to me about the government. I'm the resident. Tonight, let's talk about that. Taiwanese President Ma ying says tightened controls on food imports from Japan will only be temporary. Officials banned the import of food from Fukushima and four other prefectures following the nuclear accident in 2011. But it was revealed in March that some food from the prefectures was being imported. The news prompted consumer groups to call for tighter restrictions. The authorities further tightened their controls on food imports from Japan last Friday. The measures include requiring all Japanese food products bound for Taiwan to carry certificates proving the prefecture of origin. President Ma stressed the priority is to ease fears over the labeling of food products from Japan. The measure is temporary. We look for Japanese authorities' cooperation. We are eager to resolve the issue as early as possible. Ma expressed his readiness to ease restrictions once authorities determine how the banned products reached Taiwanese consumers and steps are taken to prevent similar reoccurrences. Japanese authorities have been urging Taiwan to lift the tougher regulations, calling the steps scientifically groundless. Did somebody write stupid on my forehead and I didn't notice it? Just be quiet for once in your life. In a few minutes, be loud as you like, but for now, forget what you're going to say. Do you feel that in the stillness, it's who you are with no bullshit? Your tears are salt 
empty You're not wired wrong You're not faulty You may not be remembered But you'll never be replaced Hear the drip drop of the melting snow Tick tock goes the watch You feel the seconds go And your sun Is banging down the doors Time is constant Life is tiny And gigantic And never tidy は日本初期に記述が残るエネルギーゆかりの地 B 型近代に入ってからは日本有数の産地として日本の発展を支えてきました新潟と東京電力との歴史は1919年当時の新越電力が信濃川風景に水力発電所を建設したことから始まります
歩んでいきたいと考えております